Simon says, pat your heads. Simon says, rub your bellies. Simon says, give your daddy a hug. Yeah! Hey, I'm Jesse. Did you know that playing the game Simon Says with your kids is actually really good for their brains? And it's also a fun way for them to practice self-regulation, the ability to control your behavior. This game also requires players to listen, focus, and follow directions. And if your kids are like mine, well, they can definitely use some more practice in that area. In this video, I'll show you how to play. To play, start by choosing someone to be Simon, the leader. Simon will give commands to the other players. When the commands begin with Simon says, the other players must follow those instructions. If the command does not begin with Simon says, any player who follows it is out. All right, guys, we're ready to play? Yeah. Are you sure? All right, yeah. so Simon says, touch your head. Simon says, touch your ears. Simon says, close your eyes. Reach down and touch your toes. Simon says, touch your nose. Simon says, move like a robot. Simon says, play the air guitar. <laughs> now freeze. Ah, uh, here <laughs> I I gotcha, I gotcha. All right. When kids learn to listen carefully to each command and decide whether to follow, they're demonstrating self-regulation, which will help them do well in school. Simon says, flap your arms like a chicken. <laughs> Simon says, stand on one foot. Simon says, make a funny face. Simon says, twirl like a ballerina. All right, now bow. Simon says, touch your ears. Touch your nose. Simon says, quietly run in place. Simon says, stop. Simon says, run again. All right, let's take a little break. Ah, I got you again. <laughs> all right. You can adapt this game to play with kids of all ages. My little one, for example, may be too young to fully understand the rules of Simon Says. So when I play with him, my focus is introducing him to new words. Simon Says, touch your ears. Yeah, good job. Simon Says, touch your nose. Yeah, good job. Simon Says, smile. Simon Says, wiggle your fingers. Simon Says, Flap your arms like a chicken. Simon says dance in place. Yeah! As you can see, my kids love to play Simon Says, and I love that they get to practice their self-regulation skills. Now we want to know how you and your kids play Simon Says. Share pictures and videos by hashtagging them Mother Goose Club. Add your stories in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to be the first to hear about new videos. Simon says, say goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, I'm Jesse. <laughs> Just in case you don't know, I'm Jesse. <laughs> Definitely use some. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Simon says, get it together. <laughs> so, the ability to. <laughs> the ability to control your behavior. <laughs> you guys are so good. Oh, you just smacked me in the face. I, think I can't win. I can't win with these guys. <laughs> the ability to control your behavior. <laughs> Simon says. Simon says, rub your belly. Oh, okay. Let's try it again. <laughs> Yeah. Really good for your kids' brains? No. Really good for your kids' brains? That sounds funny. Actually, really good with, really good with their brains. So you have your kids and their brains. Touch your nose. Touch your nose, Ooh. dude. You're good. <laughs> I thought I was gonna get him on that one. <laughs> when kid, wait, wait. <laughs> when, gosh, when kids learn, ow now, brown cow to understand the rules of practice there. Ah, and share, ah, and add. Too young to understand. Ah. If the command, 
Ugh. Simon says, let's <laughs> say goodbye. Yeah, it's a fun, fun it's a fun way. Fun, fun, funions. <laughs> Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Hi everyone, my name is Liam. I play Eep the Mouse on the Mother Goose Club. One of my favorite rhymes is patty cake, and in this video, my friend KJ and I will show you how to do it. <laughs> rhymes and songs are super fun. They're also great for little kids, and one reason is memory. Hearing words in a rhyme makes them easier to learn and remember. We're going to do patty cake one time, then go through it line by line. You ready? Yes. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it, roll it, mark it with a B, and put it in the oven for baby and me. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. If your kids are old enough, you can do the first two lines like this. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Or for babies, you can hold their arms and do it for them. Are you ready to be a baby? Sure. <laughs> patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. For the last two lines, pretend to bake a cake. Pat it, and roll it, and mark it with a B, and put it in the oven for baby and me. One more time from the top. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it, and roll it, and mark it with a B, and put it in the oven for baby and me. <laughs> Good job. Thanks. Get your kids to do motions with you, any motions, because moving along with a rhyme or music makes kids more coordinated. As you can see, patty cake is good for kids of all ages. If your baby is too young to understand the words, she can start learning the sounds and enjoy the time you spend with her. So get in there and patty kick it up. Show off your mad rhyming skills by hashtagging photos and videos with Mother Goose Club and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe for more great tips and songs. And check out Mother Goose Club's patty cake starring you know who. One reason is memory. If the mm, hearing's words, hearing words in a there you go, that's it. <laughs> is good for kids of kids, kids, kids. <laughs> I love the oven, baby. I'm sorry, I okay. forgot. Could you, <laughs> could you, <laughs> one time, again, then, I'm sorry, whoa. Let me have your head. <laughs> there, no, don't turn your body. Just, your Just let me have your head. What's the line? Hold on. <laughs> Helps them. Makes. 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 Makes them. Makes. Makes them easier makes. to learn and remember. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got it. I just, I, just, I just get in front of the camera. I'm like, uh. One more time from the top. Sorry. <laughs> oh, there it is. And It'll roll. roll. <laughs> <laughs> you got Let's tell one. One more time from the top. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I spy with my little eye something red. Is that red card? Hi, I'm Amanda, and this is my daughter, Nola. Today we're at the flea market. It is the perfect place to play one of our very favorite games, I Spy. You excited? <laughs> it's a great brain-boosting activity that you can play just about anywhere with kids of all ages. Come on, we'll show you how. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. Okay. Here's how you play I Spy. First, you choose one of the players to be the spy. And then the spy chooses an object silently, like say this blue globe, and then reveals the object to the other players by saying, I spy with my little eye something blue. Then the other players try to guess what the secret object is. If they're having trouble figuring it out, then the spy can give an additional hint. 
but I'll show you how it's done. Mom, you be the spy first. Oh, all right, let's see. Hmm, let me find an object. Okay, let's start over here first. Hmm, all right, let me pick an object. Let's see. Oh, here's an important tip. Do not look directly at the object when you're giving your hints. That is a dead giveaway. All right, I have my object. Cover your ears. I chose the red dye. All right, Nola, you ready? Okay, I spy with my little eye something red. Um, is it that W? It is not that W. Um, is it that red stripe around the pin? Ooh, good one. I hadn't even noticed that. No, that's not what I was looking at. Is it the red dye? Uh, yes, you did it. It is that red dye. And you said the right word because dice is two. Two, and a die is actually just one. So you got it, good job. This game is so good for kids' brains. It's not only a great way to expand their vocabularies, but it also develops their powers of observation. So Noel, you wanna play again? Yeah. Okay, I spy with my little eye something blue. Is it that blue block? It is not that cube, no. Keep going. Um. Is it this toy car? Uh, no, that's not what I was looking at, although you're right, that's very blue. Try something else. Um, is it that lock? No, that's not what I was looking at. I'll give you a hint. It is something that you wear. Hmm. Oh, is it that pin? Yes, that's also called a brooch, and people wear it on their shirt. Nicely done. Thank you. Yeah. Now we'll do one for you. Oh, good, okay. I spy with my little eye something golden. Something golden. Uh, is it that trophy over there? Nope. How about that necklace? Nope. Uh, is it that brush up there? Nope. Uh, the bronze shoes? Nope. All right, I give up. What is it? It's that brooch. Ah, you learned that word before. Good job. Nope. You can adapt this game to play with kids of all different skill levels. When Nola was little, I just asked her to point to an object of a certain color. All that matters is that you're making kids think about their surroundings and exposing them to new words. As always, we'd love to hear from you, so type any comments into the box below. And don't forget to subscribe to be the first to know about new videos. Bye. <laughs> Stop touching me. All right. Oh yeah, <laughs> I did it, I'm awesome, I did it. Oh, hello, I look like a school teacher. <laughs> <laughs>Hi, I'm Jane, and I love crafting with my kids, Alex and Emily, because it helps them learn a lot about themselves and how to get along with others. These are important skills for success in school. I like doing crafts because you can turn trash into pretty things. And I love glitter. So in this video, we're going to show you a fun craft that turns empty water bottles and toilet paper tubes into musical shakers. With glitter. <laughs> yes, Alex, plenty of glitter. For each shaker, you need an empty and dry water bottle, the short eight ounce kind works best, a toilet paper tube or paper towel tube cut in half, scissors, electrical tape, a funnel, and something to fill the bottle with. We're using beans to make noise and glitter to make it pretty, but you can use whatever you want. Little jingle bells, paper clips, rice, beads, and confetti, anything that'll fit. All right, let's get started. The first step is to fill your bottles a third of the way with beans and glitter or whatever you're using. I've learned early on that it's best to keep glitter in a contained region. It can get pretty messy. Put that lid on good and tight. We cut the tube next, right? That's right. Do you want to go first? Sure. Emily can do her own cutting, but usually I handle it for Alexandra, especially when it comes to thicker material like cardboard. All done. Now, can you put this over the mouth of the bottle?
Step 5. Tape the tube to the bottle. Make sure to tape the tube very securely to the bottle. I know the next step. What is it? Decorating with tape. That's right. Yeah, and I want to use silver, blue, and white. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's do it. Why don't we start with silver first? Okay. Great. How about I will cut the pieces of tape for you, and then you can tape them on the tube. Okay. Emily, are you done with the white tape yet? Can I use it? Sure. One thing I love about crafting is that it's a great way to teach your kids how to take turns and work together. Look, Mom, I made a heart. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so cool. I made one for you too, Alex. Thank you so much. So are you guys all done? Yeah. yeah. Do you want to try them out? Sure. sure. Let's do it. And there you have it. These shakers are pretty to look at and fun to play with. And when your kids use them as instruments, they learn about rhythm and patterns. Try this craft at home and let us know how it goes with a photo or video tagged Mother Goose Club or leave comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for other crafts, tips, activities, and more. Bye! Let's do it again. <laughs> From there? Okay. Okay. <laughs>